Whitby Town, Monday night. Monday night football at Horsfall Stadium and Whitby Town. They're having a decent season. They're having a good run in the FA Cup. And they're keeping the flag flying for, no, for non-league football, which is brilliant. Trials and tribulations at uh, Horsfall with Bradford Park Avenue. I think we're in a situation where Lee said, best mended. And he gets harder every week to say, no surrender. No surrender. I will say it, no surrender. So hello there everyone and a very warm welcome to the Horsfall Community Stadium for this Northern Premier League encounter between Bradford Park Avenue and Whitby Town. It's a Monday night football here at the Horsfall Stadium and it's Park Avenue versus Whitby Town. Whitby Town's first game incidentally for nearly four weeks in the Northern Premier League. They've been busy with FA Cup commitments where they will play a first round tie in a couple of weeks away at League One side Bristol Rovers. That's Bradford Park Avenue. They're in need of a victory after the last two defeats in a row recently as well to Hyde United. And nine days ago and also as well at the weekend so absolutely are oh, the referee about to blow the whistle any moment now and uh, kicking us off will actually be i believe it is priestley griffiths himself to kick us off actually the number four it is the number four priestley griffiths and uh, here we go the referee's blowing the whistle and we're underway at the horsefall stadium northern premier league encounter between bradford park avenue and whitby town the only game in the northern premier league this evening we will give you a score it's a ball off and comes close to us for the number 10 Bratton. On the right-hand side, into the penalty area. Can he get across it? It's well blocked. The ball goes back, though. Shot comes in from Griffiths. That's a really good piece of defending. And that piece of defending was from Harrison Hopper. That run forward from a Dunstan. Good run from him. Goes out to the right to Doherty. The ball then goes back to Doherty, actually. It's going to be played in. It's not a bad delivery. It's going to be cleared. Ooh. Oh, it was just about down within the end. It was actually Connor Smith got the ball trapped underneath his feet. Two Park Avenue players around him in the end. To be fair to him, Smith, he does well to clear it. But right side, laid the ball back for Doherty. Whipped one hard and low across. The corner comes in from Park Avenue. It's headed away. But yeah, Doherty whipped one hard and low across. And you're right, Connor Smith struggled initially, but did well, actually, to clear the ball away. That's the captain, Daniel Rowe. And then Rowe can play it forward, and that's going to... Is that a foul? It is a foul by Havard, actually, on the big man, Jerome Greaves. And what's uh, Jacob Grattan's in close proximity. It's not going to be him who takes it, but he does receive the ball from the free kick. He goes for goal from distance. It takes a bit of a deflection. Thankfully, the deflection took the sting out of the ball, and it never made it awkward for Sykes. Ken Worthy of anything. It helped. He's going to take the throw in. He stops to go down the line. It's to Doherty. And Doherty tries to play one. It's uh, going to get it back, is he? All oh, the ball's eventually played behind a Dunstan and uh, Whitby can win it back and this could be a chance for the Seasiders to break it's Greaves it's a really good touch he goes to release his man oh we very nearly releases Mondale eventually Hayes should deal with it he does he adds it back to Sykes Ken Worthy a good piece of defending but a slice of luck from Park Avenue and still nil nil and just to uh, let you know as well Park Avenue are kicking towards the cemetery road end as a foul is committed by Jack Whiting a little bit of a soft one I thought that I don't really think there was too much in it but it will be a free kick for... it's going to be Priestley Griffiths to take the free kick it's uh, going to be headed away though very well actually as well by Whiting the man who give away the free kick and then the cleared ball won't be got by Doherty the more they have a bit there's a long throw in it's put into the air and it is a long throw looking forward looking for that big number nine it's a goal kick given in the end. I mean, there was a bit of a, a scuffle between all the players, wasn't it? Really trying to kick the ball away. Eventually, it goes Park Avenue's way. But, and that ball's actually stayed in play. Well, one in the air by Cruz. Mondal could get him behind. Hayes got to be careful. He doesn't bring his man down. Mondal still has it. And then Hayes does bring his man down when he's got his back turned to goal. And it's in nearly. Still Park Avenue nil, Whitby Town nil so far. It is Griffiths. It's a deep one to the back post. And it's going to come across. Oh, it's saved. But it's going to be surely be tapped in. It is. And Whitby Town offside flags up, though. It will not count. Forward as play has restarted. A Dunstan's on his bike here. It's a good little run from him as well. He then plays it to the right to Doherty. Doherty goes to go inside Shepherd. He does it well. Doherty into the area. Can he get the way? He goes back. And the ball eventually is words back. A chance to maybe Lancaster. And then Park Avenue's got to try and get the ball into the middle. And uh, they're not quite doing that yet. It's on the right-hand side. Doherty does well. Gets to a good position. Plays one into the back post. Oh, it's not a bad ball. No one quite there, though, to reach it. And Preston can keep it alive. And Preston goes back. And it's now with Lancaster. Lancaster chance to yep. shoot. He does shoot. Oh! It's the crossbar. And it falls to Doherty on the volley. Oh, it's, oh, it's blocked and it's out. What an effort from Lancaster that was. Ball out of his feet and take it through. But they're in possession again, Park Avenue. Good ball from Avern to Doherty. The confidence really seems to be flowing as the ball's played down the line. This could be a chance to cross one in. It is. It's a good Ooh. ball. And no one's on the end of it. It was Brad Doherty with the ball in. What a ball that was right across the face of the six-yard box. 
It was crying out for someone's tapping in. It wasn't quite a big, but much better from Park Avenue. They're starting to get confidence in this game. Uh, I think there might have just been something left on the head, inadvertent by all means, by uh, Mondo, but Graf Grafton has it now. He plays to the right-hand side. This could be an opportunity for Doherty to maybe cross one in. Good piece of defending, though, by Jordan Preston. Help. Proud for Park Avenue, Neil Whitby Town, Neil Throw goes in, it's a long one, it is one in the air, it's going to be headed away though, Park Avenue deal with it, another shot comes in, it's going to be cleared away again from Park Avenue, but it keeps coming back at them, and it's a ball forward, this could be a chance of Bede in the box, he plays one across, oh it's very well cleared by Luca Havern, brilliant defending from the experience number five, but it's one back again from Whitby Town, the pressure just won't go away. Eventually the cross comes in. Satskin Whitby comes, gets two fists on it. It's still not cleared away though, because it comes to Doherty, the number seven for Whitby Town. It's played forward. Mondal goes back to Doherty. He's in a good position, gets the shot away, it's blocked. And another shot comes in. And finally, Whitby Town take the lead. And it is Junior Mondal. It's 1-0 after 35 minutes. It's got to be said, the pressure was relentless there from Whitby Town. Four or five opportunities eventually. It falls perfectly to Junior Mondal and Whitby Town have the lead 1-0 though by Beedon and eventually that's very well taken down by Gratton but he then gives it away and he's fouled his man as well an unintentional way, he lost his footing. The net hopefully, 1-0 as it stands to Whitby Town Longbottom whips the ball across him with his left foot but it falls into the area, shot on goal from Lancaster, no, Colville, no. Oh, won't go in yet, but Hay now has it on the left-hand side. Hay can whip one in, not a bad ball, it's cleared Preston. away. Only as far as Preston, he takes it down. Eventually it's Lancaster, can he get the shot away? Colville now has it, Cameron. and Preston, it's still on. It's still onside. Hay oh. whipped one in, it's a deep one, it's going to go out of play for a goal kick. Half-time as the ball might find Longbottom, Longbottom does well. It's worked out to Doherty. And Doherty goes out to the oh he goes out to the right. It's a foul on Doherty though, and that'll be a free kick in Park Avenue's favour. Town of Park Avenue, you mentioned it, Sam. Has a quick on play from Will Long on out onto that right hand side with a Dunstan. What can he do? He finds Doherty down the right hand side. Doherty looks to try and beat his man. And the ball goes out for a throw and they stick with this and try and stay as solid defensively. Absolutely, as the ball's headed away, it's Doherty who wins it though. And then the ball's headed away once again, and now Whitby can get it further clear. There's a two on two if they get it right. Oh, and this could be a bit of danger actually. The ball's worked out to the right to Mondal. Mondal plays it forward brilliantly to Gratton. And can Gratton get it behind an excellent, excellent piece of defending from Lewis Hay to get there first? It was a good idea from Mondal, a really good ball in behind actually. Trying to come forward again. They have a team on top for now. Five minutes to go to the interval. Park Avenue might not want the half time whistle. It's one back though. A shot comes in from distance. No! Oh! But just over the crossbar from Harrison Hopper. He done, he done really well there, Hopper. He won the ball, left-footed effort. Thought that might have been aiming for that top corner. Wasn't quite to be. It goes just over the crossbar. Well, it's got to be said, a good effort, though, there from Harrison Hopper. And Doherty finds Longbottom on the right-hand side. Park Avenue keep coming forward. Longbottom, can he get it out of his feet? He goes for goal. Oh, it's a wild one from Longbottom. It's way, way over. Well, Park Avenue's top scorer this season won't want to see that one again. He gets every sort of reffing it like it's a Rugby World Cup game sometimes. Harris Popper got laid into there in a 50-50 challenge and came out hurt. He's currently actually down receiving treatment. It's changed before the game started. Mm. And now another one, of course, before the break. You know, Dive is about to get that shirt on. Number 17, number 7, being replaced by number 17. A couple of added minutes, no doubt, when the 45 minutes are nearly up in step. We've got just over a minute of the 45 remaining. Janine Duosidebe, who we have, has scored since that brilliant goal he scored against Morpeth Town a couple of months ago. We were on the commentary for that one, Arthur. A fantastic goal, and do we need an Osidebe moment like that again right now, of course. But uh, ball's headed away well by Havern. Longbottom plays it forward to Osidebe, who's chasing it down well. Longbottom's dropped into midfield for the time being. Good play by Janine Duosidebe. It's a goal kick, but that's good from Osidebe. Oh, no, it's a corner. The final touch was actually off the off, off, off the Whitby Town man. Brilliant from Osadibe. From our corner, from Park Avenue's corner, Whitby are leaving three men up. The corner comes over. It's not a bad one. It's cleared away, though. And now this could be where the danger comes. And it's going to be one as well. It's played over the top. And Mondale could be on the chase, actually. It's good play. Whiting, it's fouled, though. Well, he doesn't agree with that, Mondale. But let's be honest, it's blatant. It's blatant from Mondale. He nudges him in the back, Whiting. It was very well positioned, to be fair, to Whiting. He got there ahead of his man. He knew the ball from Bratton was going over the top. Mondale probably has a beating of Whiting for pace, but he was in great position. Park Avenue have it, and the ball's back with Sites Kenworthy in his own penalty area. And then the half-time whistle does blow from the referee, and it is Bradford Park Avenue nil. Whitby Town won at half-time in this Northern Premier League encounter. The goal coming after 35 minutes from Junior Mondale. He 
also tweaked his hamstring in the warm-up, being replaced by Harry Colville, who came into the start of 11 as we're underway here. Absolutely, we are underway for the second half, and immediately Lancaster goes back to George Satskem, will be closed down by Mondal immediately. It's a uh, place towards Costa Debe, who wins the header well, actually, Jordan Preston, and I won't go there because there might be an opportunity for Park Avenue if they play it right. It's uh, cut back as well, and uh, Colville then brings it forward. He goes down, the referee again, not oh. going to give it. Osadibe wins it, and this is a good start from Park Avenue because it's with Doherty, gets it lost in his feet. He then plays it, though, to a Dunstan. A Dunstan does well to kick it towards the Park Road end or Park Avenue. Ball comes in! Yeah! yeah! Actually, Osadibe, who makes it 1-1. He kind of deflected it somehow. I mean, I'm not sure what, what a body it comes off. A backflip. We're not even a minute into the second half, and Bradford Park Avenue have drawn level. It was a Dunstan who took the ball out of his feet, got the cross in, and Jimmy Osadibe with the goal. It is 1-1, and well, what a start to the second half. Park Avenue, just what Mark Bauer and everyone associated with Park Avenue would have wanted. 1-1. One, one. Yeah, persistence from Will Longbottom in the middle of the park. He then won the ball. It found Chinovsky just outside the area in the central position. He switched it out over to Brad Doherty on this right-hand side. And like you mentioned, Sam, got the ball sort of lost in his feet a little. He went out wide to a Dunstan who then cut back then went back down the line, his ball went over, sort of beat Preston's head by the looks of it, and it ended up going in off Osadibe. One all here in the 46th minute at the horse horn. It's game on. Just foot through it. Osadibe could chase it, especially the ball bounces. It does bounce. Osadibe trying to get in behind. Oh, no, they've done well enough there, the defenders. They've lost it, though. Longbottom in a good position. He plays it through. It's Preston. Oh. It's saved. It's Preston again. It's saved again by the goalkeeper. Will Preston get another bite of the cherry? It's cleared away. And it's still the attack still not over. Park Avenue's got one but two chances. And the goalkeeper Shane Bland did really well in fairness to him. Osadibe gets it back. He goes for goal, I think. It's gonna go over the crossbar. Shepard, Shepard on the left. He goes out to the Mondell. Mundell can play it in. It's a good chance for Shepard to get one in. Oh, it's over the crossbar. I think it was a cross come shot, really, in the end. And uh, he always had it covered there, so that's Ken Worthy. But good play, though, from Whitby Town. They work it well. Colby Shepard gets there. He crosses it in. Never really gets hold of it. It actually nearly fly. It could have flew into the top corner. So that's Ken Worthy. Always had it covered, though, and watched it go over. Yeah. This could be a chance. He plays it back. And eventually the shot's going to come in. It's blocked. Another bite of the cherry, maybe. Hey, does well. Oh, oh it's, it's going to fall, is it? Oh, it's a chance. Yeah, it's off the line. <laughs> Got Luke Hebburn and Sides can we can claim it. That's brilliant goalkeeping in the end. And the referee even plays an advantage and we can breathe. Luke Hebburn did really well to recover and clear it off the line. But a Dunstan here on this right hand side now picks up the ball. He's certainly getting forward in the second half and he puts a ball Ooh. into that corridor. All uncertainty and Preston wasn't far away from that one, Sam. He wasn't far away from it. It's a good ball in from, from a Dunstan, actually. It's in a dangerous position and it just about misses the feet of Preston. He tries to get a flick onto it. He can't quite get any contact, though, and it just drifts out for a goal kick. He cuts in with his right foot, about 40 yards from goal. Lancaster now. Lancaster lining up a shot, potentially. Lancaster puts it. It would be a good rugby conversion, I think, Sam. It's uh, <laughs> over in the car well. park. I thought his name rubbing lights there. Will Lancaster got the ball, shifted it onto that right foot. It was a shooting position. In the end, though, way over the crossbar. But uh, well, there could be an opportunity here, and it's immediate impact maybe for Simpson. The ball's played through. It's a chance. It's straight to the goalkeeper. It was Connor Smith who went through, and the shot from Smith who was laid off by the substitute, actually. Con it was by Connor Simpson, and then the ball from Connor Smith. And there's a shot from Connor Smith, sorry, Sites Ken Worthy, easy save, but he held it well. He goes to the left-hand side instead, though, and on that left-hand side is Doherty. He plays one in, it's straight into the arms of Sites Ken Worthy. About 25 yards out, just to the left-hand side. It is, it's going to be taken, it's Mondal who hits it. Oh, oh right. it's not a bad effort from Mondal, it just goes over the crossbar. I mean, that could be a, a long 20 minutes of Park Avenue if this keeps up. It's a ball going to be played through. It's Mondal into a good position. Plays it across. Good ball. Oh. A good defending again from Luca Havern. Not for the first time in this game. It eventually falls to Smith. He gets a cross in. It's a free header. And Sides yeah, Kenworthy yeah. saves it. How on earth has Sides Kenworthy kept that one out? It was Priestley Griffiths with a free header at the back post. He simply couldn't miss. And I'm just looking down at Nathan Haslam. He has his head in his hands. This is Doherty. Doherty's got options right and left. Eventually he's going to shoot, is he? He does shoot. It's way over the crossbar. It's just over the just over the stand that the Whitby Town fans are in. It stands really good work from Chinos Adibe. Once more up front, driving yeah. at the goal now. Plays it out wide to Doherty. Doherty, good position in the area. Doherty, can he cut it back? Or can he... Oh, he goes inside. It's the wrong option. It's good defending, though, from Shepard. Whitby and they'll go forward now. 
Mondale, ball through, no flag for now. This could be a chance for Simpson. It's a real opportunity. Plays it across, it deflects. It's not for Luke Hebert with a vital touch. I thought that was going into the far corner. Nothing's really got past him, nothing's got through him. Winning every ball as an in-swinging corner will be put in once more by Whitby Town. That's a better corner, but Sykes Kevin Worthy plucks it out of the sky. He looks to try and get things quickly started. But Sinead Osadiri actually is on the other side. Although with a heavy touch, this is dangerous though because Griffiths comes forward. They've got options. Mondal. Oh, it's a poor ball from Mondal. And can he get that? Oh, this is an opportunity. Silver Smith, is it? No. Good piece of defending. It was actually Hebert and Whiting between them who just about got it away. The way they put this into the area. Absolutely, yes. It was Jacob Grattan who just shielded the ball out of play. So I think he was hoping it was going to be a throw in in his team's favour. It is. It's a long one. It goes into the middle. It's going to be headed away well though. And the ball might fall oh it's going to be headed forward and Park Avenue could have a break on if they get the clearance right the ball's headed forward and Dunstan does well to clear away and it's going to be uh, Labastide who goes to charge it down the other side Johnson sorry he does get something on it but it goes out for a throw into man that we've said his name all day Luke Hervern but the shot on goal from Connor Smith Always. Oh, and it was Simpson, it fell to at the back post and sights can worthy. Well, Connor Smith back then, that was a great ball. I don't yeah. think he meant it. It was a volley and it was a scuff volley and it was Connor Smith poised at Simpson, sorry. I thought he was offside, actually. It wasn't given, but the corner's been taken quickly and that's headed, that's cleared away well by Lavastide and it's going to come back, is it, at them? It's a shot going to come in from Grattan, it's well blocked. Can Park Avenue keep up their amazing defensive work? Right. And they've won it now, and this could be an opportunity. It's played forward. Oh, Sadibe, can he get that? Oh, Shepard's done well. He's in a good position. But the risk, he has pulled it back, though, for a foul. And I thought Osadibe was going to be in behind for a moment. In fairness, Colby Shepard, I think, he's had an excellent game, the number three. And that's going to be a yellow card, surely it is. Fell to Simpson. Sats can move. He did really well. The Park Avenue backline can really give themselves a pat on the back for the way they played in this game as Osadibe goes to get there. He goes down Osadibe. There's a bit of a penalty appeal maybe. Still down Osadibe right inside the area. Nothing given. And now Mondell has it. Now this could be an opportunity again as the balls are worked out well to the left-hand side to Colby Shepard. Can Colby Shepard get a ball into the middle? Shepard, it's a Luke and Hebert once again. How many times have we sung his praises this evening? Just to play one in, eventually cuts it back. It's Doherty. Doherty eventually has a go. Good effort. It's wide of the goal, though. I think he always had it covered. Sights Ken Worthy, but it would be down coming on. For Jacob Gratton, I believe. Yeah. That change is made. Any moment, and uh, it seems there's going to be a ball into the middle now by Priestley Griffiths. And it's very good goalkeeping for Sights Ken Worthy. Another Park Avenue player who has been exceptional at times this evening. There, can he keep it in? He can. He does well to prevent a goal kick. He's surrounded by a couple of players, though. He gets an eventual cross, and he's done really well, actually. The ball's cleared away, and this attack's still not over. Will the shot eventually come in? No, it won't. Eventually, a shot does come in. Is he offside? He is offside. And well, the, uh, the ball actually ends up in the net. I mean, the whistling long gone by the time that happened. I think Oberti keeps that ball really well. Plays it, plays it forward. Loses out though eventually. And this could be a chance for Park Avenue. It's played through. It's Osadime. He's in. He gets a shot away. It's going to oh. be cleared off the line. Oh my word. It was cleared off the line by the number six, Harrison Beeden. Osadibe got the touch. He kind of has a yellow card coming in as well for a foul. Osadibe didn't really get enough on it. He beat the goalkeeper to the ball. And it's Smith who's gone into the referee's notebook just to confirm as well. And in the end, it's got to say, Beedon was well positioned to clear it away. The ball was not ever really, it had enough legs on it to go in. However, what a chance of Park Avenue to win it right at the end. Osadibe returns it to a Dunstan who keeps it alive. Osadibe, good play from him. Long bottom from distance. Could he have a go? He does have a go. Not a bad oh, it's saved by the goalkeeper. I thought that was going in for a moment. There's a bit of a weird formation for this corner. It is Longbottom who whips it in. Not a bad one. It's headed out for another corner for Park Avenue. Men forward. Longbottom whipping it in left foot. Austin Dibé goes. It's Shalouka. Oh, oh, he's mixed in. He's mixed in. I thought that was the moment that would have topped off his performance. He can't quite put it in. He's just fine the goal. And now it's Whitby Town who can come forward. Oh, my word. I thought that was the moment for Gianluca Havern. Three chance of Park Avenue to win it at the end. But here come Whitby Town now. It's given away. Can they just keep the ball though? They can't. It's gone out of play. And there's 90 seconds of this game to go. Any moment you'd imagine, but it's not over yet as Havern wins a header to clear it away. 
And the ball's now eventually going to go forward and the referee looks at his watch and blows the full-time whistle and it does end at the Horseful Stadium in the Northern Premier League. Bradford Park Avenue 1, Whitby Town 1. The Electric <laughs>